Hi friends, welcome to World. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity, basic router configuration review. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA project support or CCNA version 7 online classes, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. And also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Now, coming back to this packet tracer activity, here we can see our addressing table. We have IPv4 as well as IPv6 addresses. Just we will go through the objectives. In part 1, configure a devices and verify connectivity. Assign static IPv4 and IPv6 addresses to the PC interfaces. Then configure basic router settings. Then configure the router for SSH. Then verify network connectivity. In part 2, display router information. Retrieve hardware and software information from the router. Then interpret the startup configuration. Interpret the routing table and finally verify the status of the interfaces coming to the background this activity requires you to configure the r2 router using the settings from the addressing table and the specifications are listed the r1 router and the devices connected to it have been configured this is a comprehensive review of a previously covered ios router commands okay that's fine in part 1, we will complete the basic configurations and interface settings on the router. Then in part 2, we will use SSH to connect to the router remotely and utilize the iOS commands to retrieve information from the device to answer questions about the router. For review purposes, this lab provides the commands necessary for specific router configurations. Instructions Part 1. Configure devices and verify connectivity. Step 1. Configure the PC interfaces. Configure the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses on PC3 as listed in the addressing table. Coming to our topology, here we can see PC1, PC2, PC3 and PC4. So we will go to PC3 and we will assign IPv4 and IPv6 addresses as per the addressing table. So here we will go to our addressing table and here we can see pc3 and its ipv4 and ipv6 addresses we will go to desktop and click on ip configuration and here we will update the details here is the ip address then we can see some to mask here they given the prefix as slash 24 that means we have to edit this default to some to mask okay then it's a default gateway also we will set its ipv6 configuration here we can see its ipv6 address then it's a prefix 64 also we have to set its a default gateway ipv6 gateway In the same way, configure the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses on PC4 as listed in the addressing table. So here we can see PC4. Then we will go to our addressing table. PC4 IPv4 address. Coming to desktop IP configuration. We have to change its uh, to mask slash 24. Also, we will set its uh, default gateway. Now we will set its IPv6 address. Prefix slash 64. Now its IPv6 gateway. Now we will go to step 2. 
configure the router. On the R2 router, open a terminal, move to privileged exit mode, then enter configuration mode, then assign a device name of R2 to the router. Coming to the topology, here we can see our router R2. We will click on this R2, then go to CLI. Here we will give no. Enable configure terminal and we can set the host name as specified R2. And here we can see this default uh, router name, it is router, changed it to R2. Next is configure C1 SCO1234 as the encrypted privileged exit mode password. That means uh, enable secret. Just I will copy this uh, password. Then coming to R2. Here we can give the command enable secret. Then that password. Next is set the domain name of the router to ccna-lab.com and also disable DNS lookup to prevent the router from attempting to translate incorrectly entered commands as uh, though they were host names. Okay, so first of all, we will set this domain name coming to R2. Here we have the command IP domain name and here is the domain name also we will disable uh, domain lookup no ip domain lookup then encrypt the plain text passwords yes we have to use a service password dash encryption command in global configuration mode so here we will give that service password dash encryption then configure the username ssh admin with an encrypted password of uh, 55h just i will copy this password okay so we will create this username with this encrypted password in this router r2 Username SSH uh, admin, and we will uh, give a secret. It's here, we already copied. Let me verify it. Yes, then press enter. Then generate a set of crypto keys with a 1024 bit modulus. So, coming to R2, here we will give that command crypto key generate generate rsa correct and here we can see how many bits in the modulus so as per the instruction it's a 1024 you can uh, en uh, press enter again so we can see this uh, ssh enabled 1.99 has been enabled. Then assign Cisco as the console password. Configure sessions to disconnect after 6 minutes of inactivity and enable login. To prevent console messages from interrupting commands, use the login synchronous command. We will do that coming to R2. Here we will go to line console 0. Then we will set the password as specified to Cisco. Then we have to give the login command. Also, we have to set exit timeout. So I'll put a question mark here. And we can see exit timeout. We will set in minutes. So they specified six. Uh, timeout in minutes. It's six. Also, we will enable logging synchronous next is assign cisco as the vty password configure the vtv lines to accept ssh connections only configure sessions to disconnect after six minutes of inactivity 
and enable login using the local database uh, that is uh, the username and password we created coming to r2 exit then we will go to line vty 0215 and here we will give we will set the password as cisco then we will give a login local using a local database we will give this also we have to set exit timeout six minutes and uh, also the specified we have to uh, use only ssh connections we have to transport input ssh next is create a banner that once anyone accessing the device that unauthorized access is prohibited okay we will do that banner motd message of the day so we have to exit from this uh, vty mode i mean this line mode and uh, we have to go to banner motd then we have to set the uh, message uh, we will start with the delimiter we'll give warning unauthorized access is prohibited also we have to enter with the same delimiter what we started it's double quote then press enter then enable ipv6 routing yes we know that by default a router is not forwarding ipv6 so we have to enable it in global configuration mode i will go to r2 ipv6 unicast routing next is configure all four interfaces on the router with ipv4 and ipv6 addressing information from the addressing table above configure all four interfaces with the descriptions then activate all four interfaces so what are those four interfaces here we can see uh, they connected to to a serial and to uh, ethernet so here we can verify uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 then uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 this is a serial let me verify it serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and uh, here serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 here we can see our addressing table uh, and the device R2, its interfaces and uh, its IP address. So first of all, we will configure this interface G0 slash 0 with IPv4 then IPv6 addresses. So coming to R2, we will go to this interface. Interface G0 slash 0 slash 0 then we have to set the description also right we'll set the description coming to this topology we can see this g0 slash 0 slash 0 is connecting to s3 so we'll give description as lan 2 s3 or i can give connecting to s3 s3 right then we will set the ip address that is ipv4 address just we can copy and paste here then we have to give it to mask prefix the given slash 24 that means 255.255.255.0 also we will set ipv6 address it's here then we have to add this prefix also press enter now we will set ipv6 address link local address right yeah link local now we have to activate this interface using no shutdown command Now we can see the link between this R2 and S3. 
is up. Now we will configure this interface that is a g0 slash 0 slash 1. We will exit from this interface. Even we can go without exit. Uh, anyways, interface g0 slash 0 slash 1. And we will set a description. We can say connecting to S4. Correct. Then we will set the IP address. Then submit to mask. Also, we will set IPv6 address. We have to copy till here, including its prefix. Also, we have to set a link local address. Oh, we have to give a space link local now we will activate this interface no shutdown and here we can see the link between this router r2 and s4 is up next we will configure this serial interface so serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 uh, which is connecting to this uh, r1 exit interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 we will set the ip address then it's submit to mask also we will set its ipv6 address just copy and paste it Also, we will set a link local address. Link local. Now we have to activate this interface. Also, we will set a description. Connecting to R1. Now coming to the fourth interface, that is a serial 0 slash 1 slash 1, which is connecting to this internet. Exit, then go to that interface, serial 0 slash 1 slash 1. We will set the description first. Connecting to internet. We will set the IP address. Then here they given the prefix as slash 30. That means so to mask is this 252. Two. Now we will set this IPv6 address. Also, we have to set IPv6 link local address. Then we will activate this interface using this command no shutdown. We can see this uh, link between this router R2 and this internet is up. Then save the running configuration to the startup configuration file. Okay, just to give end and uh, we will give a copy running config, we can give in short run. Startup config, we can give in short start. Presenter, destination file name, startup config, yeah, we will uh, save, the, save in this uh, default file name. So just presenter. 
Now we will go to step 3. Verify network connectivity. Using the command line at PC3, ping the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses for PC4. Were the ping successful? We will check that. We will go to PC3 and we will ping to this PC4. So just we will get its IPv4 and IPv6 address. PC4 IPv4 address, it's here. Just I will copy it. Then coming to PC3, we'll go to command prompt. Ping to PC4. Here is that PC4 IP address. We are waiting for the replies. Request timed out, and here we can see we get the replies. It's working. Now we will copy uh, this uh, PC4 IPv6 address. Again, coming back to PC3. Ping to PC4 using its IPv6 address. And we can see we get the replies. Yes, the ping uh, succeeded. Now, from the CLI on R2, ping the serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 address of R1 for both IPv4 and IPv6. The addresses assigned to the serial 0 slash 1 slash 1 interfaces uh, interface on R1 are uh, IPv4 address, they given here. IPv6 address also they given here. We will go to this device R2 and we will ping to these addresses. Just I will copy this IPv4 address coming to R2. From a privileged exit mode, we will ping to this address. And here we can see success rate is 100%. Also, we will ping to its IPv6 address. Ping to IPv6 address. We can see success rate is 100%. Were the ping successful? Yes, successful. From the command line of PC3, ping the ISP address that is uh, 209.165.200.226. So just I will copy this address and we will go to PC3. Then we will ping to this address. And we can see we get the replies, it's working. Were the ping successful? Yes, successful. From PC3, attempt to ping an address on the ISP for testing uh, to this address. Again, coming back to PC3, we will uh, ping to that address. And it says uh, destination host unreachable. Were the ping successful? No, it's failed because uh, this network is uh, a remote network for this router R2 and uh, they may not configure any uh, dynamic uh, or static routing. Next is from the command line of PC3, open an SSH session to the R2G0 slash 0 slash 0 IPv4 address and login an SSH admin with this password. We have to give this command SSH space dash L, L is for login. Then SSH admin, then we have to give it a target. We can do that. We will go to PC3. SSH space dash L space. Then we have to specify the username SSH admin. Then we have to give it a IP address. And here it's prominent for the password. Password is here. I will copy and paste it. And here we can see be able to access R2. Also, here we can see that banner MOTDV set warning unauthorized access is prohibited. Was a remote access successful? Yes, uh, successful. Now we will go to part two display router information. In part two, we will use a show commands from an SSH uh, session to retrieve information from the router. Coming to step 1, establish an SSH session to R2. From the command line of PC3, open an SSH session to the R2 G0 slash 0 slash 0 IPv6 address and uh, login as 
uh, SSH admin with this password. Here we are going to use IPv6 address, okay, to uh, go to this router R2. We will uh, get the IP address R2 G0 slash 0. We will get its IPv6 address. Then coming to PC3. Here we will exit from this R2. SSH space dash L space username is SSH admin. Then we have to give the target IPv6 address. And we can see it's prompted for the password. Let me get the password. Okay. And here we can see we able to access uh, this uh, router R2. Coming to step two, retrieve in important hardware and software information. Use the show version command to answer questions about the router. Okay, we will use this command show version. What is the name of the iOS image that the router is running? So we'll give this uh, show version command. We'll give enable. Uh, password we set. Let me check that. We set this password as uh, privilege exit password. Okay, and here we have to give the command show version. Okay, and coming to the top, here we can see the details version. And here we can see system image file is uh, this is the file name with the extension dot bin next question is uh, how much a non-volatile random access memory that is nvram does the router have so coming to a router so coming down here we can see 32768k bytes that is kilobytes of non-volatile configuration memory then how much flash memory does the router have okay there itself we can see that the flash memory here we can see uh, it's a three double two three double five one k bytes of flash memory The show commands often provide multiple screens of outputs. Filtering the output allows a user to display certain sections of the output. To enable the filtering command, enter a pipe character after a show command. Here we can see that symbol. Followed by a filtering parameter and a, a filtering expression. We can match the output uh, to the filtering statement by using the include keyword to display all lines from the output that contain the filtering expression filter the show version command using show version then this pipeline include a register to answer the following question what is the boot process for the router on the next reload so we will give this a show command on r2 Okay, we have to give it the password. We given the password as Cisco. Enable. Again, I have to get that password. Now we are going to give this a show command. Show version. Then pipeline. Include register and here we can see configuration register is uh, 0x2102 now coming to step 3 display the running configuration use the show running config command on the router to answer the following questions uh, filtering for uh, lines containing the word password 
okay we can do that we have to give a show running config even we can give in short then we have to use this pipeline include password coming to the questions how are passwords presented in the output so here we can see all the passwords are encrypted uh, we given a service password dash encryption so that all the plain text passwords will be encrypted next we will try this so use the show running config pipeline begin bty command show running config then pipeline begin vty and uh, here we can see we get the result from this uh, line vty all the configuration after that what is the result of uh, using this command yeah uh, here we have seen uh, we get um, the result the output from this uh, line vty They given a note here a more specific command would be show running config uh, pipeline section vty however the current version of packet tracer does not support the section filtering command okay just we can try this show running config instead of begin we will give a section And we can see it's working here with this uh, latest uh, packet tracer version. Now coming to step four, display the routing table on the router. Use the show IP root command on the router to answer the following questions. We will give show IP root, and here we can see our routing table. Uh, what code is used in the routing table to indicate a directly connected network it's obviously uh, c right connected we can see it's c c is for connector actually all these show commands we have to execute in this uh, pc3 uh, using this uh, uh, ssh session okay even now we can see that here like this so just again I will give the password so this is only for understanding this as such okay nothing else so again if I give enable uh, it will prompt for the password Yes. Here we can give that show command. We will get the same uh, output. Show IP root. And here we can see this uh, C. C is for connected. Then how many root entries are coded with a C code in the routing table? So we can count it one two three and four it's four next we will go to step five display a summary list of the interfaces on the router use the show ip interface brief command on the router to answer the following question question is this what command changed the status of the gigabit ethernet ports from administratively down to up yeah it's obviously no shutdown command so we will give this a show command here in this pc3 show ip interface brief and here we can see these interfaces are up g000001 serial 010 serial 011 and we can see this vlan1 it's administratively down and uh, we given no shutdown command to bring these interfaces up what filtering command would you use to display only the interfaces with 
addresses assigned so we can use uh, same using a pipeline uh, section command we can do that i will show it show running config the news pipeline we can give a section then interface right we can give interface and we can see each interface and its ip address we configured serial 0 1 0 serial 0 1 1 yes finally use the show ipv6 interface brief command to verify ipv6 settings on r2 what is the meaning of the up up part of the output yeah this is actually first up is status and the second up is uh, protocol so we will let's check that show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see that up up first one is status and this is protocol okay that's all in this uh, packet tracer activity that is a basic router configuration review uh, just to be recall all the basic settings here we can see our completion status it's 100 percent now dear friends if you have any doubt any suggestions regarding this packet tracer activity please comment below or uh, you can contact our team using our website and if you like our video give a thumb and share with all your friends stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video thank you